Well, good day, RGB. Today on Valley Por Vida, we're learning about all that's going on over in Hidalgo County for the benefit of our RGB community members. Plus, we're checking out a unique program that's geared towards helping provide meals to students here in our Harlingen area. Got a lot to talk about. The show starts now. Hey there, thanks again for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now our team went ahead and you know dropped by Hidalgo County offices to speak with one representative who's got a little peek at what we can look forward to in their community this new year. The Hidalgo County Community Service Agency is an agency that's charged with assisting vulnerable families, those families who are struggling with issues of such as paying their utility bills, paying their rent, paying their mortgage, those, those everyday kinds of issues that, that sometimes Put people back a little bit. During normal times, the Idaho County Community Service Agency has a variety of programs that assist families with their utility bills, such as their light, their gas, and now we've got a program that assists with water. We also, uh, during normal times, assist families who are struggling uh, with rent and sometimes with their mortgage payments. However, during the pandemic, we found ourselves providing assistance with a wider variety of services. We were also able to assist families with food. In some cases, we were able to provide uh, families with uh, insurance premium payments, uh, mortgage payments to a greater degree, rental payments to a much greater degree. Uh, so far, with one particular program, we've assisted families with up to uh, almost, we spent almost $8 million in assisting families uh, during this last year uh, alone. So a rental assistance program, for instance, uh, we're, we're able to offer families up to 8, 10, 12 months of, of rental assistance. Those are for families who have fallen behind on their rental payments who qualify under our income guidelines. Our income guidelines are fairly liberal in, in terms of assisting the, the biggest number of families who are struggling with those payments. For instance, a family of four earning less than $47,100 would be able to qualify for that assistance. Not only are we able to assist them with payments that were in, in, in arrears, that they were behind on, we're able to assist them into the future in some cases, three months, and in some cases even six months into the future. We're able to provide that kind of assistance to give families really that, uh, that breathing room that they need to recover from the pandemic and to get past the pandemic and reestablish some of the savings that may have been lost, some of the savings that they may have tapped into during, uh, during these difficult times. Probably the most important, uh, the mo most important aspect of what we do is we're able to provide uh, that, that little bit of uh, that little bit of comfort for families to be able to rest easy, to be able to it's one less stressor on the family. We recognize that during the pandemic, uh, the number of domestic abuse cases, unreported domestic abuse cases, went up significantly. Many families were reluctant to to get into the throes of uh, pull out domestic abuse case. So many families, as we say in Spanish, se aguantaron. Uh, because there was difficulty in the household and then you add the stress of not being able to pay the rent, not being able to pay their light bill, not being able to pay their water bill, it just added, added, it was almost like a, like a pressure cooker for many of the families. So what we find that the important thing that we do is we're able to relieve some of that stress. We're able to pick up those utility bills, reestablish folks. In some cases we had families living without water service. All right, we look forward to seeing what their team has in store for 2023. Now let's go ahead and take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to take you behind the walls of TSC and Harlingen to learn about a special program they recently held to help provide meals to students. That and more coming up. 